now joining us on the road right now, probably trying to get the next Scarlet Knights uh, members for the future of Rutgers football. He's trying to build this thing up big in the Jersey area as the head coach of Rutgers, and that is Chris Ash, who's kind enough to join us right now on the Zach Gelb Show. Coach Ash, appreciate the time, and how are you, my friend? I'm doing great, guys. Appreciate you having me on. Well, thank you for coming on, and we appreciate it. So before we talk about the rigorous process of trying to get the best Rutgers recruits to get on board with Rutgers, let's talk about the big honor of having all these alumni going to the Super Bowl, McCordy, Sanu, Ryan, Harmon, and then Freeney's on the IR, but will still be represented by the New England Patriots. So four Patriots and one Falcon. I know that you, you weren't around when these guys were playing at Rutgers, but what does it mean to have these guys representing Rutgers in the biggest game of the year? Yeah, you know, it's really cool. Uh, I think for any university, but uh, for Rutgers here to have – Four, five guys, that, you know, with uh, Sanu there with Atlanta represented its university and its program at the highest level in the NFL in the Super Bowl is, uh, is an awesome honor, and it's uh, the best advertisement you could get for our program and our university. I know Rutgers has such a family relationship, and McCourty's always talking about Rutgers on Twitter, and he always loves coming back, being a Hall of Fame member last year and they always obviously have such a keen eye on this program and they want to see what you're going to be able to build here at this university just how about that family atmosphere even though you weren't their coach but they're still always involved with their alma mater absolutely i walked into a really special situation uh there's a lot of pride uh, in this program from the alumni and the former players that have played here uh they love to come back and keep an eye on the players that are in the program uh, they've welcomed me, my staff, and, and all of us here as new coaches, and it's been great to get to know them. Uh, they're outstanding football players, uh, but they're even better people, uh, and even the guys that aren't playing anymore, uh, they've been very welcoming and uh, great to know them. It's unbelievable how many Patriot players are Rutgers alum, and I know that's because of the relationship Bill and Steve they have with the university. Did you get a chance to ever talk to Bill or Steve when you took the job at Rutgers? Uh, you know, I, I went up to visit the Patriots last spring. Uh, I have some connections to the Patriots myself. The D-line coach was a, a college a teammate of mine. We lived together. Um, one of their offensive assistant coaches GA'd for me at Iowa State and GA'd for me at Arkansas. So I have a connection with those two guys already. I went up to visit them last uh, year. Uh, I have not actually personally met Bill, but he's, he's written me a couple notes and said we are welcome to come up anytime. I have met Steve, talked to Steve, and he's got a lot of pride in Rutgers also. That's awesome. As the head coach of Rutgers right now, Chris Ash joins us. Uh, coach, when you take a look at the player that you're trying to bring into Rutgers right now with your first real recruiting class where you get to attack this thing from the start to the finish, what type of player are you looking for when we find out who's going to be joining Rutgers next week? Well, we got a list of uh, things that we look for in, in players we're going to recruit. One, we want a guy that's a competitor, just loves to compete in everything that he does. Um, we want a guy that's a uh, high character, a guy that we can trust on and off the field. Uh, we want a guy that's tough, uh, a guy can fight through bumps and bruises and, and uh, good times and bad times. Uh, and obviously we want a talented player, but uh, we want a guy that will really compete, loves the game of football, and we can trust on and off the field to do things the right way. Coach, it was a rough first year for you going 2-10 and ten, uh, in the win-loss column, and you may see some people, they see the lopsided results, and they'll wonder why should they still go to Rutgers University? How do you address that with recruits, even though you didn't have such a successful first year? No, well, I never promised anything when we came here. Uh, I knew we had a lot of work to do. Uh, there were a lot of things that we were going to change, and uh, uh, we what we've done is built a solid foundation that will help us for the future. Uh, we have a lot of work to continue to do. Uh, we've got to continue to recruit uh, so we can create competition on the roster. We've got to continue to develop the players. We've got to continue to coach our systems better. Uh, so there are a lot of things that we've got to do, but we've set a really good, uh, solid foundation. We just had the highest team GPA that we've had in a while. Uh, we haven't had any off-the-field issues uh, in the last year. Uh, our players are bigger, stronger, and leaner uh, than they've been in the past, so we're excited about those. Those are some of the small victories that we have going on inside our building right now that a lot of people don't get to see. And those are the things that you need to do to be able to get wins on the field down the road. Uh, but, uh, you know, it was a tough year, uh, but uh, I knew that there were going to be a lot of bumps and uh, tough times uh, when we're trying to build it, but uh, I'm not discouraged. I'm not upset. I go to work excited every day. I love the people that we have in, in the program, and uh, there are going to be brighter days ahead. I promise you that. But what did you learn about yourself from year one, and what do you hope to try to change in year number two with Chris Ash as a head coach? 
Uh, well, the, the number one thing is you can't do everything. You know, as a, a guy that's a defensive coordinator, a position coach, you know, you got a lot uh, smaller number of people that you're dealing with, and not everything uh, comes across your desk. Uh, so that's the number one thing. You just got to realize as a head coach, you know, you're the CEO of the program, but you can't do everything, and you got to trust the people that you've hired. Uh, and that's the number one thing that uh, you, you learn as a head coach for the first year. Uh, you know, changes, there's not a lot of changes. Our plan isn't going to change. We came in here with a great plan. Uh, and I've told people a long time, it's just going to take some time for that plan to work. So uh, there are no changes that we're going to make to the plan. We have some changes that have been made on the coaching staff. Uh, Coach Jerry Kill comes in as our new offensive coordinator. He was a 2014 Big Ten head football coach of the year. Uh, he's taken over a lot of tough uh, programs as a head coach, and he's had nothing but success. I'm very excited about his leadership and his direction uh, with our offense. There will be some similarities, but there will be some changes uh, that uh, are suited uh, better for our personnel, so I'm really fired up about that. Uh, hired a new running backs coach, Lester Erb, who's a Big Ten veteran coach, and we just recently hired a new corners uh, coach, Henry Baker, from the University of Delaware, who's a former uh, New Jersey high school player. And I have to imagine that Henry Baker is going to help with recruiting, right? That was a big reason why you brought him on board. Oh, there's a combination of things. He's uh, from New Jersey. He knows people in this area. He knows people in the Baltimore, D.C. area because he played at Maryland. Uh, but he's a great coach. Uh, I was very impressed with uh, him in the interview, uh, just his presence, uh, his professionalism, his knowledge of football, his knowledge of cornerback play, and uh, his ability to recruit for our program. All those things combined made him the best fit for us. I know your kids, they've had a lot of change, to say the least, at the offensive coordinator position. Now you bring in Jerry Kill. Like you mentioned a few moments ago, as we're talking to Chris Ash, the head football coach at Rutgers. Under Jerry, what type of offense do you want to see with him leading the way? Uh, the style of offense we're going to play isn't any different than what we wanted to establish when we first got here. It's going to be a line of scrimmage based offense. We want to be able to run the ball. We want to be able to spread people out and make uh, you know get the ball into our playmakers' hands out uh, in space. But um, we're going to be a team that runs the ball at the line of scrimmage. Uh, what we need to do is have an identity and stick to it. I think uh, last year we felt like we kind of got away from what we really wanted to be, um, and uh, that hurt us. And uh, with Jerry, you know, he's been there, done that. He uh, understands how to put together a package and uh, stick to it and uh, how to attack defenses and, and take what they give you. And that's what I'm really excited about. But our overall philosophy is not going to change on how we want to be a, a big, physical, strong offensive line, run the football, uh, and uh, be a spread offense. We've seen the culture just in one year with you being the head coach uh, change a little bit at Rutgers. We, we see your intensity on the football field, and the kids have really bought into it. And a big part, you can't win in this uh, part of college football if your players don't trust the coach, and I think they do trust you. With that being said, with just so much frequent change at the offensive coordinator position, how do you help the kids uh, in that process of a transition? I know that it's part of the sport, but how do you help it when it occurs a little bit more frequently than you would prefer it to? Uh, well, I mean, it happens everywhere in college football. I mean, uh, we had uh, a few guys leave this year, and, and I promised the players every time uh, a coach leaves, it gives us an opportunity to get better, and that's what we've been able to do. I think uh, the, the uh, characteristics that we're looking for for recruits to come into our program, we have that list. Well, I also have a list of characteristics that I'm looking for in the coaches that I bring into this program. And first and foremost, they're going to be really good people. They're going to take care of the players, and the players can trust. And that's not going to change. And that's the number one thing that the, the players want is a coach that cares for them and a coach that can get them better. And we've been able to bring those types of people in. All right, Coach, uh, let me get your take on the quarterback position. We always know that's a big one. When you look at the offense this year with the quarterback, what are you going to expect? Uh, what we need to be able to get out of our quarterback position is a guy that's a good leader. Uh, we need to improve that uh, – part of it clear across our, our, our whole football team. So we need a better leader, uh, and we need to develop leadership at the quarterback position. We need to develop the decision-making uh, process of our quarterbacks. We had too many turnovers uh, this year at the quarterback position, and we've got to get better at that. Uh, we will help him uh, help the quarterback position by having a more established quick game and screen game so we can get rid of the ball quicker. That will also help our offensive line, and uh, we've got to protect better up front to give our quarterback uh, more time uh, back in the pocket. Who's going to be our quarterback? That's yet to um, – that, that remains to be uh, seen yet. We're going to have an open competition as we go into the spring, similar to what we had last year. Uh, we do have uh, Gio, who's a returning uh, starter for us and did some good things for us. He'll probably be the front runner, uh, but uh, it'll be an open competition. 
Coach, I know you're driving, but you've been on this recruiting trail for quite some time now, and I know you're not a stranger to recruiting. What have these last few months been like for you ever since the season ended? It's been a whirlwind. You know, we got done with the season. We just hit the, the road recruiting, and we're just out uh, going as fast as we can, trying to see as many players as we can and trying to sell what we're trying to do here at Rutgers. And I think a lot of people are still very excited about our program and what we're doing, and recruiting is going exceptionally well. Uh, the last two weeks of January is the worst time of year for a college football coach because uh, you got to try to hang on to your guys. and It's a cutthroat uh, profession, and especially this time of year in recruiting. What kind of snacks are you eating on these trips, Coach? Uh, I love Twizzlers. <laughs> oh, what type of Twizzler? Do you just like the traditional Twizzler? Yeah, yeah traditional. <laughs> okay, good to know. Hey, Coach Ash, before we let you run, and we appreciate you coming on today on the Zach Gelb Show as we're talking to the head football coach of Rutgers, what are your expectations next year? What do you want to see your team accomplish uh, for next year? Uh, I want us to be a more competitive football team. Obviously, I want to win some games, but uh, I want us to be uh, a football team that can compete from uh, the start of the game when the foot hits the ball to the, when the uh, uh, scoreboard says zero. Uh, I want us to be a more competitive football team, and if we can do that, uh, and be a bigger, stronger, more physical team, then we'll have a chance to win some games. Well, Coach, I'm excited to see this thing grow, and I've told you before I think they had the right man here to lead Rutgers to many football victories and uh, build a good culture around this program. So we appreciate the time today, and uh, enjoy those Twizzlers on the road, Coach. We appreciate it. Yeah, appreciate you guys. Take care.